Hi everybody, Tim Mimix here and today I want to show you a very fast way for creating a look in color grading. Don't forget to subscribe for more like this. Let's start after the intro. Today I want to use only one tool in DaVinci Resolve and in my opinion it's one of the most underrated tools in color grading. It allows you a very fast and really easy way to create looks or at least a great starting point for really stunning looks. But anyway, let's start. This shot for example here is a bit dark. It looks as it was shot in an evening golden hour because the skin looks like so and in the background there is a warm and gloomy light. I've already color corrected this clip and you know it's one of the most important steps if you want to achieve great looking results. The colors on this shot are looking really great but I want to give this shot another look. The only tool I will use for creating my look or to be more correct for my starting point is a RGB mixer. For a complete or finished look we need much more but what I mean in this look context is the coloring. So I add another serial node and jump to my RGB mixer and here I start with a brownish look with a teal in the green and shadows. In the red output channel I push the green to around 0.95. In the green output channel I decrease the red and blue to around 0.95. 3, 5 and finally in the blue output channel I lift the green to around 0.8. Now look at the image. If I turn the node on and off you can see how much we changed the look just by using the RGB mixer. The topic of today is not to explain the theoretical background of this tool. I just want to show you this fast and easy technique to creating two easy looks or look starting points. You know what I mean. And by the way, look at the scopes. On the parade you can see this imaginary line which I explained already in my advanced color correcting tutorial. I put a link on the upper right corner. So if you want to know more about this just watch this tutorial. But now back to topic. Uh, one thing you should keep in mind is that you can apply this note to every other exposure and color corrected clip. It will always work the same. Maybe sometimes you have to adjust it a bit to your needs but before you change this RGB mixer node try to balance out your source image more. Maybe find adjustment for white balance or something like this. In general this RGB mixer node should work always the same way. Ok, let's create another look. I disable this node and add another serial node so we can switch back and forth later. And now I lift the blue in the red output channel to 1 and in my green output channel to 1, 2. Then in the blue output channel I lift the green up to the max, so to 2.0 and decrease the red to around minus 0.8. You can go until 0.9 if you want or a little bit less to around 0.7 will work too. It depends a bit on your footage but the same as before in general this node should work well in every footage. Uh, if not please check the color balance before or simply adjust in this node here the red and green in the blue output channel until it fits your needs. Great! Now let me show you quickly what you can do to give this look a bit more punch. For this I choose the primary sparse and push the white channel on the gain a bit more up. In this case maybe to around 1.12 and then I lower the Y in the lift a bit. Just a very slight bit. Yeah, this looks great to me. Ok, just a hint. For the first of these two looks if you don't overdo the saturation of the first look you will get a very bronze brownish 
golden looking touch for the skin. Just try it out. It's a great starting point. Or you can add this to your grade as a final step too. What we did here is just a bit mixing colors in our channels. In my opinion, a very underrated method. The second look on the other hand gives you a very intense blue in your image. So if you have blue shades in your footage, try it out. And at the same time, it will give you a very clean neutral color yeah, a very clean neutral colors. In summary, a very fresh look. We are done now. Very easy, isn't it? And as always, if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time. Stay safe. Bye.